Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll talk about how to set up and use the virtual opt-out feature in Avaya Proactive Contact. This video is applicable to only the hard dialer version of the Proactive Contact. Prior to PC 5.0, when a customer was called by a virtual job running on the Proactive Contact, there was no way the customer could get himself to talk with a live agent. He would simply listen to the recorded message and the call would get disconnected. But with PC 5.0 onwards, virtual opt-out feature has been introduced in Proactive Contact. With this new feature, when a customer who has been called by a virtual campaign running on the Proactive Contact is listening to the recorded message, he can choose to opt out of the message by pressing a digit on his phone and get himself to talk to a live agent. And the virtual message you play to the customer should also clearly state that which key should the customer press. Something like if you wish to opt out of this message and talk to one of our associates, please press 9 on your phone or something like this. In a hard dialer version, when a customer presses the opt out button, there are two possible configurations. Either the call can be transferred to a predefined VDN on the ACD or the call can be transferred like an inbound call to an inbound or a blend job running on the proactive contact. This will be like a NVDT transfer where the voice and data both are transferred from an outbound job to an inbound or a blend job. And as the name suggests, this feature is applicable to only the virtual or agentless campaigns. Certain important things to note here. The switch generic version on the PG230 should be at least 18.0.2 or higher. The PG230 needs DTMF receivers configured. These can be configured from a DSP2 card on the PG230. The DTMF receiver ports, also called as EDRC, that is Enhanced DTMF Receiver Card Ports, should be configured in an exclusive resource group on the PG230. These ports are used by the system when receiving the opt-out digit from the customer. Also, the transfer trunks should be set up correctly on the system. When transferring to a VDN, these transfer trunks will be used. And if you are choosing to transferring to an inbound or a blend job, like a native voice and data transfer, then the appropriate NVDT settings must be in place. Let's now check the settings which you need to make on the job side. So I've logged into the editor application. I open a virtual job here. If you scroll down, you will see this section for opt-out features. If I check this checkbox here to enable this, it will ask for some more settings. In the opt-out digit, you put the digit which customers should press on their phone. In the next setting which says when opt-out happens, transfer to. There will be two options as we discussed, transfer to a VDN or transfer to an inbound or blend job. If you choose transfer to a VDN, another parameter appear which asks the VDN number. Here you have to populate the VDN number on the communication manager to which you want to transfer this call. And there must be agents available on this VDN to take calls. So for example, I put the VDN number as 1002. So when the call is transferred to this VDN, it leaves the dialer and it's handled by the VDN on the communication manager henceforth. The system's transfer trunks are used for this kind of transfer. And there is a setting for a message to be played if the opt-out fails. For example, if there is no available agent in the VDN or the VDN itself is not reachable, etc. This message will be played to the customer and the call will be hung up. And if you choose to transfer to an inbound or a blend job here, so from this drop down, you select to transfer to an inbound or a blend job, it will ask for the name of the opt out job to transfer to. So you can select the name of the opt out job here, and the call will come into this job like an inbound call, and the agent logged into this job will receive the call and he will talk to the customer. And remember that this transfer will be a native voice and data transfer type of transfer. So all the configurations for the NVDT transfer must be correctly set up to be able to transfer the voice as well as the data to this inbound or blend job. This setting works on a per job basis. So you can have different virtual opt-out configurations for different virtual jobs. Or you can even choose to enable it on some and disable it on some. Let's just also briefly talk on the completion code used to dispose these calls. 
If you look at the completion code section on the editor, you will see these two codes here, code 8 as opt out and code 10 as opt out fail. The code opt out is used by the system when a customer opts out successfully either to a VDN or an inbound or a blend job and the code opt out fail is used by the system when the customer chooses to opt out but for some reason the opt out fails. And just so that you understand this correctly, when the opt out happens to a VDN, the call leaves the proactive contact at that point and the system disposes the call appropriately. And when the opt out happens to an inbound or a blend job, the call is disposed on the virtual job with the appropriate code and this call which has now come to an agent on the inbound or a blend job will get disposed by the agent with another completion code which will be noted in the inbound calling list being used on that inbound or blend job. Finally, as we talked about in the beginning that the PG-230 should contain the DTMF receivers configured. Just to briefly show the PG-230 configuration, I have logged into the PG-230 digital switch. If I go into the option A, database administration, and then again go to the option A for card summary, you will see that one span of DSP2 card on slot 2 has been configured as a DTMF receiver. One span provides you 192 ports of DTMF receivers which are also called as EDRC ports and these should be put in an exclusive resource group. So I go back to the database administration menu and choose resource group summary. You see that a separate resource group with the name DTMF and it has total 192 ports. Let me go inside this and you'll see that the fourth span of DSP2 card on slot 2 has been configured in this resource group. Although 192 EDRC ports should be enough for most systems, but depending on your system configuration, you may choose to add more here. So in this video, we saw how to set up the virtual opt-out feature for a hard dialer version of the proactive contact and we also saw the necessary configurations that are required for this feature to work. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at avaya.com or at avaya mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.